This video is to help guide you through creating a baseline to measure your emissions as a small business. This tool can be found on the CEJS website and is based off of the EPA. So first I'll walk through entering your data on the six non-colored tabs to the right, as you see right here. And then I'll walk you through the two green tabs here on the left, summarizing your results. So first stationary combustion, here you record each combustion unit by facility or site. You'll start off by selecting the drop down for fuel combusted. So for here, select natural gas. I would go to the source description. I would type in West Power Plant in this case. The West Power Plant is 20,000 square feet. So that is the source area. And then we go here for quantity combusted and we'll just go 15,000. We go to units and we select the drop down and let's go MMBTUs. So at the West Power Plant, the source area, again, is 20,000 square feet. The fuel combusted is natural gas, and the quantity combusted is 15,000 MMBTUs. Then next, we head to business travel. So here, um, again, the source description is, is more for your records, so you'll enter that. So here we have John Doe. John Doe traveled in a light-duty truck, let's say, and he went 3,000 miles. So what's cool about this tool is that all you need to know is the description, um, the vehicle type, and then the miles traveled, and it will automatically populate the emissions generated from those miles traveled. If you scroll down, you'll get more options. So if you noticed up top in this first section, you had the choice of passenger car, light duty truck, or motorcycle. And if you scroll down, we can enter John Doe again. And we have other options. So here we will say that John Doe takes the bus and he takes the bus for 500 miles. So it'll generate the emissions associated with John Doe taking the bus for, for 500 miles. Next, if we go to commuting, we have John Doe again. This time John Doe is going to take his light duty truck for let's say 750 miles. What's great again is that the file calculates the emissions associated with John Doe driving his light duty truck for 750 miles. And if you scroll down, similar to the last file or the last tab, we can enter John Doe again and enter some sort of public transit. So here we will take the commuter rail and he takes the commuter rail for 400 miles. And again, it spits out the associated commissions with John Doe taking the commuter rail for 400 miles. Next, we'll go to the product transport tab. And here we have the source description again. And here we put West Power Plant Finished Goods. For vehicle type, we will put light duty truck again. And let's say that the vehicle miles is 10,000. And on the three columns to the right, you will then get the emissions associated with the West Power Plant finished goods, light duty truck, traveling 10,000 miles. If you scroll down, just like the other files, we can take that West Power Plant finished goods again, drop it down there. And here we will say that we have finished goods traveling by rail. And for 10 miles, we will put in 5,000. Following the theme here, we will see the emissions associated with, with those actions as well. Following through to the waste tab. Here again, I, I entered West Power Plant finished goods. We will pick the kind of waste. We are throwing out glass. This glass will be recycled and the weight of the glass 2,500 pounds. So maybe we'll throw in 5,000 pounds. So the West Power Plant finished goods, we are getting rid of glass and we are recycling it. And that's 5,000 pounds. And the result of that is again, over here in the, the white column on the far right. So lastly, we have offsets. Offsets are all manual. So here you would enter forestry project and here we'll throw in 15,000 metric tons of offset. So now that we have entered all the data we have available to calculate our emissions, we will go to the current year summary tab. And this is really cool because it calculates all the emissions associated with what you've entered. Here we have the current year. So the summary of the, the current year emissions associated with, with our year. And if you go over to the year over year summary, you will see this is all linked. So all, all of your data that you've entered on these tabs automatically flows into the current year and the current year is linked to the year over year summary. 
So here you will see all of your data in base year, which is 2021. And this tab was created so that you could track your improvements year over year for the next 10 years. So after you created your baseline in 2021, you could then target some ways to reduce your emissions and, and track your progress year over year as you complete it. Thank you guys for watching this video and I, I wish you the best of luck.